Have you ever visited one of those nice websites and hovered over an HTML element and then you see this very, very beautiful tooltip? And you wonder how on earth did they do that? Well, it's very likely they're using a combination of CSS and JavaScript and jQuery. And the jQuery UI is nice enough to provide a widget for the tooltip. Now you can see here I've eliminated the date picker method that we used in the last few videos. And in a minute, we're gonna put in our tooltip method. But before we do that, we actually have to add a tooltip to our HTML structure. So let's go ahead and pick an element. And why not Julius himself? So let's add a tooltip first. And you will remember the HTML attribute that we use is the title attribute. So let's type in title. And we'll just say something like Julius himself. Very, very original. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's refresh our page and let's just make sure this works. And it did. So we have our tooltip in place, but now we wanna format it with jQuery. And the best thing, as I said before, is to use the jQuery UI. So let's go ahead and use the type selector IMG. So we'll select our image element. And then we type in tooltip. It's just that simple. And let's go ahead and refresh our page. Let's hover over this now. And there you can see, take a look at that. We got this really, really nice tooltip widget. And that just looks a lot better than the default one that HTML supplies. And again, this is a combination of JavaScript, which of course makes up jQuery, as well as all of those CSS files that we specified up here. So that's why the jQuery UI is so nice to use. It's very, very simple. You can just call the methods. And with just one line of code, we have this very nice tool widget. Now, similar to the date picker widget, there are different options that we can use with the tooltip widget. And we'll get to that in the next video. See you guys then.